Okay, so I'm in my SX4, and uh, sometimes things conspire against you, and yeah, it forces you to act, right? So anybody who watches this channel knows I've had ongoing issues with the wheel speed sensors. Um, I'll post the video. Where's my finger? I'll post the link to the video here that tells you how to actually get the long-term remedy to this situation. And uh, there's grief with the corrosion on the drive shaft contaminating the uh, um, the hub. Wheel speed sensor is what it basically boils down to. So in this scenario, I'll show you what's happening here. I've got a Christmas tree of lights on the go. Um, my main concern is, I hope you can see, See the traction control light actually flashing there? Well, I'll show you, I'll hook up my scan tool and show you what's happening here, but, but it's uh, cause and effect. Um, I'll, let me hook up the scan tool and I'll show you what the story is here. And you can see the ABS light on it as well as the uh, electronic stability program uh, as well. Um, so hang on a sec, let me get the scan tool hooked up and I'll show you what's happening. Suzuki, of course. Test by system, uh, we'll go to control units, ABS, and you'll see, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this is all-wheel drive, of course, because they're uh, they're the ones that are prone to the failures. If you had the two-wheel drive system, because the hubs are completely different in the rear end, this wouldn't be applicable to you. This is only applicable to the, uh, the all-wheel drive models. Uh, read codes. So here's what I've got on the go. Left rear wheel speed sensor. You'll notice it says circuit range performance. It doesn't say failure. It says left rear wheel speed sensor circuit range performance, meaning there's an issue with the uh, quality of the signal. That's how I interpret that message anyway. And uh, I'm not gonna go to the trouble of hooking up the oscilloscope to show you, because I've done so in the past. Go find the videos, they're out there on my channel. Um, and it, it basically bastardizes the uh, square wave coming from the uh, Hall effect sensor in the, in the wheel speed sensor. So here's where the, uh, the ESP is actually being affected. The steering angle sensor uh, calibration incomplete. And I thought, what the hell? But a couple of days ago, you may or may have watched it, it makes no difference. Um, I actually had to disconnect the battery for a job I was doing. And when you hook the battery back up, of course the system goes through its self-test and perhaps a calibration, self, a self-test calibration that I wasn't aware of, but I am now. I suspect this calibration is being inhibited because I have a current failure. It's only a working principle, I don't know that for a fact, but let me show you uh, the remedy. I have mentioned this in the past, but uh, I never actually physically showed it to you on the uh, drive shaft, so I'm gonna do so now. So here's the drive shaft actually removed from the vehicle uh, voice, and that is actually the corrosion that I've removed from this section of the drive shaft. So here on the drawing, I've showed you this before in a previous video, although it was only on the drawing, now, now I'm showing it to you in reality. I only being the lazy bastard I am, I only done the one side that was affected at the time. Of course, now this is the left hand side, the other side. So this is the section here, just inboard of the uh, the nut is where the issue actually is. There's the degree, and I've just scraped this by hand before I put it on in my grinder. There's the degree of contamination corrosion that you're going to get in this section of the housing of the joint itself. Now what happens is. All this eventually makes its way towards the Hall effect sensor and the uh, one seal on the, uh, the hub assembly actually has the impulse ring. Of course it's magnetic. And guess what? That's magnetic. Of course it's steel or, you know, steel housing, right? The, uh, of course it's magnetic and it eventually contaminates the sensor. Let me take you under the car. I'll show you um, what I'm talking about and you can clean it. Basically it's a matter of cleaning it, uh, blasting it out with some air, um, hitting it with some, I'm using WD-40, I don't want to use any brake cleaner, I don't want to uh, bitch the, uh, the uh, bearing itself, uh, but you can remove all the rubbish that's inside there, because it's very poorly sealed, especially on the aftermarket products, and uh, I'm hoping when I put this all back together, uh, we're good to go. Okay, here, so here we go, boys, I'm underneath the car, of course, uh, the drive shaft is removed, you can see the inboard side of the diff, it's a simple matter of taking off the three nuts, and the, uh, 
the nut on the outboard side of the drive shaft and it can be all done in situ as you can see you don't even have to take a wheel off nothing um, these are my snow tires I didn't even have to remove the uh, cap uh, to get access to the nut on my alloys so if you do it just take off the cap and you can get access to the nut it's really straightforward it's not a big deal um, go through these motions before you waste your money um, needlessly but the bearing is sound in this housing it's just the sensor now let me see if I can zoom you in sorry about the shaky camera work here appreciate I'm under the car can you see the sensor itself there's the sensor right now I've already cleaned inside here full of rubbish all the rust, grit, dirt, road grime. I've mentioned this before, but for any SX4 owners, um, this is going to be worth mentioning again. Um, just get your WD-40 I'm using, right? I don't want to, I don't want to bitch the bearing as I mentioned. Um, clean it out. Get your airline. You can see my airline there. Crank up the pressure. Where the hell am I? There's my airline. Uh, crank up the pressure and blast it out. Get it as clean as you possibly can. So. It's quite clean in there. Sorry, I know it's it's difficult to see what I'm talking about, but hopefully you get the idea. It's the backside of the uh, um, the wheel bearing, the wheel hub. Uh, again, only applicable to all-wheel drive models. Uh, the two-wheel drive model the hub assembly is completely different. Of course, there's no shaft, and there's a, an epoxy seal that goes over this, so there is no issue with contamination. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so there you go, boys. I've got the uh, housing all scrubbed down now. Um, ideally, um, you would paint this surface if you had the the time. I've got the time, unfortunately. I don't know if you can tell. It is uh, just a few degrees above zero in my garage here, so kind of pointless to try and paint anything. So I'm going to hit it with some uh, corrosion inhibitor. Do what you have to do to prevent this from corroding. Is the uh, is the is the point. Here's the torque specs for when you put the shaft back in. Um, uh, the big nut on the end, uh, 26.5 foot pounds, and the uh, nuts, three nuts that go on to the uh, studs on the differential, on the drive side of the differential. Uh, sorry, uh, 36.5 foot pounds. Um, the manual says, right there, read the manual. Always good. Do not reuse. So, do not reuse that nut. Here's the part number for the nut. I actually keep these. Uh, <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I keep a couple of these around. That's the part number for the rear drive shaft, okay? Not to be confused with the front. It is a different part number for the front. So, uh, yeah, we'll put it all back together and see how she goes. Hopefully, uh, the, the wheel speed code clears. And uh, the uh, I, I don't know for certain. I'm hoping that the uh, steering angle sensor will self-calibrate after that. I'm hoping it is being inhibited from doing so because of the fault on the wheel speed sensor in the uh, ABS system which of course is an integral part of the electronic stability program system. Took the vehicle for a test drive and uh, pretty much instantly as soon as the uh, the wheel speed came up and the uh, the comparators and the ABS uh, uh, computer of course done the wheel speed correlation check, um, uh, the fault light actually extinguished immediately. That was the, uh, the uh, ESP and the ABS uh, light extinguished immediately. Um, the... Uh, traction control, traction control, the flashing, the wee car with the skid symbol actually continued to flash until I'd done uh, a few corners and actually brought the car up to speed, I don't know what it was, 68 kilometers, and then it extinguished as, as well. So I'm happy to report it looks like all is well. Uh, let's just confirm that by rescanning the ABS uh, module. As I said, this is only applicable, I don't want to keep flogging a dead horse here, boys, but only applicable in the all-wheel drive variant. Uh, read codes and we're good to go no fault codes detected so let me prove that to you I've actually got the scan tool disconnected now so it won't bring up any faults because it's actually connected and you can see uh, yeah even I even reset the uh, the uh, secondary restraint system the airbag uh, fault that's that's just for you Ian I know you noticed that last time uh, let me put on my belt here and you can see we actually have an instrument cluster that looks like it should. Yeah, so um, I'm really pleased with that. Um, as I said, I had done a bit. This is kind of a mishmash video. Of the, uh, God knows what I'm going to even title this thing. Um, but I'm, I'm really pleased with the way that turned out because uh, 
you know sometimes panic sets in when a bunch of enunciators come up especially after you had just steam cleaned the engine you know you're starting to think about water intrusion and connectors and your mind goes in a hundred different directions but as I said I had the uh, I had the uh, the wheel speed sensor or the ABS light coming on my history with this car tells me that it's going to be one of the rear wheel speed sensors I've had issue with them in the past for the reason that I had explained at length previously in the video here right so yeah I'm really happy with that so obviously um, one of the takeaways is um, you can expect to have your issues with the traction control and air uh, fault enunciator flashing there because it will not go through its uh, calibration if there's an existing fault in the system which makes sense right in hindsight right, just so a couple of closing notes here uh, fellas uh, this ratcheting box end set the uh, long reach with the uh, offset box on the one side uh, fixed head uh, ratcheting in this case uh, this is a uh, any can any uh, anybody in the Canadian uh, uh, audience will will recognize this as a Canadian tire product but uh, it's branded by Canadian tire but as in fact uh, a gear wrench product sorry focus hello there, there we go uh, as in fact a gear wrench product oh man I'm telling you these things are uh, unbelievable I should have had these in my box long ago a uh, couple other things um, as I said, don't reuse that nut. <clears throat> Manual says don't reuse it. Don't reuse it. Uh, which actually brings me to a point of interest I wanted to make. Um, sorry, that's my <laughs> compressor venting in the background there. Please don't use, please don't leave any comments on my channel that are going to undermine somebody's safety in any way, shape, or form. Right? I know sometimes people are well intentioned, uh, and I don't want to come off as sanctimonious or preaching to anybody Christ I'm, I'm for the church of rock and roll I'm not in a position to preach to anybody but everybody knows right is right and wrong is wrong try and do it right you know I'm no above doing something on a temporary basis but uh, I'm certainly not in the business of deceiving anybody or trying to pull some uh, pull pull the wool over somebody's eyes that's that, I'm sorry that's just not my style so please don't leave any comments in that direction on my on my um, my channel again i hope that doesn't sound sanctimonious um the uh, md802 is a great rig for the uh, this particular uh, circumstance that i was in uh, i'm going to be uh, enhancing my scan tool facility shortly um, um based on not the recommendation but the the review that jl's auto solution um had done on the v packer product uh i've ordered myself one of them so i'm looking forward to getting that in the near future and um <laughs> There's a dirty joke in there somewhere that I'm going to leave alone in the interest of good taste. And uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, good. We'll leave it at that. Uh, I think that'll do it for today. Okay, boys, that's it. Cheers.